in life, a lot of us believe that we're working much harder than we actually are. We think if we fucking got up early for four days, we've earned something. You got to drop your entitled mindset. It's dead weight. We believe you work harder than we actually have. Trust me, most of us haven't. The one thing in life you got to realize is this. Learn to help yourself. Don't count on other people to help you. Stay hard. So that's David Goggins. He's an ultra runner, triathlete, retired Navy SEAL, ultimate badass. He has a challenge called the 4x4x48, four by four by meaning that you run four miles every 44 hours for 48 hours. The whole point is to challenge your physical abilities. His whole mantra is that in life, we're a little too soft sometimes. So this is just a way to challenge your body, challenge your mind, and see how much of a badass you are. Let's get it. All right, so I'm on my first run. It's eight in the morning, four miles. The whole point is to take it nice and slow. I'm trying to run like nine to 10 minute miles. It's gonna be a long 48 hours. So you gotta take it easy, get that heart rate nice and low, and prepare for the next one. All right, it's 11.59, about to be 12 p.m. Run number two, let's go. All right, we're on the second run. This is, I guess, miles four through eight, 12 p.m. And I'm just thinking, I feel like I need to shave. Maybe I'll shave and just keep the mustache, right? I think that look pretty cool. So I'm thinking about all these shelter at home regulations that we have. And just thinking about all the people, the businesses that are closing down. Throughout, throughout all this. Who knows how long it's gonna be. I'm a business owner and I'm losing business. I have races, not really important, but I had an Ironman in May. That's canceled or postponed, which is fine. I mean, that's the thing. We're all going through this together. We're all suffering. And one of the things that David Goggins like to talk about is having a strong mentality so we have one job right now stay positive be patient that's it so if shit hits the fan be positive stay patient do your job All right, here we are. This is run number three, 4 p.m. Feeling pretty good. My stomach kind of hurts. I had a Sprinkles cupcake just like two hours ago. It's not sitting well on my stomach, but you gotta continue pushing forward, right? Shit, man. My garment stopped at like mile one and a half. So, I have to restart it. I'm still gonna run the four miles, but it sucks because now on Strava, it's gonna be like separated. So I have to run another two and a half miles. I don't know. Just, just you know, when you're in about that stuff. All right, this is 8 p.m. I think this is run for miles 12 through 16. 
feeling pretty good. The hamstrings have been hurting since I woke up this morning, so I guess it's been from fatigue from other uh, workouts. But um, 12 hours in, 36 to go. Not bad. It's officially 8.40 in the morning on Sunday, and I completed the distances. However, I failed the challenge. The whole point was to run or bike specifically on the dot at every four hours, and I failed to do that starting, it was last Saturday. I think it was around um, the 8 a.m. mark. I couldn't wake up, and I think that was the most difficult part of it is you're almost staying up for 48 hours. You are not really, you can't really sleep in between. When you do that, it's only for maybe two to three hours tops um so i failed the challenge however i owed it to myself to complete the distances so i went ahead i did some trainer rides and i continued running this morning i just finished a 12 mile run so technically not really the challenge but i completed you know what i was supposed to complete um i ended up doing about full 50 to 60 miles on the bike and then i did um i did 31 miles on the run so that was good that was fun um overall i think the whole idea is you want to mentally push yourself i definitely want to do this again and do four by four by 48 maybe do a little better planning so that i can be you know be prepared for that in terms of sleep and how to eat and all that stuff uh i'm not really tired which is a good thing legs are, are you know they're gonna be sore but i'm not that exhausted you know, I think about the time where David Goggins had to pull out of a race. I think it was like the Utah 240 or something like that. And midway through, he started having some heart problems and he had to go to the hospital. He came back. He technically was disqualified from the race, but he still completed his miles because he knew that that's what he had set out to do. Um, and that's exactly what I was doing. I wanted to complete the miles. I wanted to complete whether it's, uh, you know, bike riding or whether it's running. I was going to complete it no matter what not really the challenge but completion and i think that's the biggest the biggest uh, accomplishment here you want to push yourself you want to make your own challenges along the way and if you come overcome any obstacles you're winning so i want to know what kind of challenges would you like to do what kind of things do you want to do that is going to push you to the limit think about that because that is how you grow through suffering you will grow take it easy guys until next time you're depressed because you're not doing shit with yourself. You don't find inspiration by not living in the grip of life. You need to live in the grip of life to find inspiration. Put challenges in front of yourself. When you put a challenge in front of yourself and you attack it, that's when you find inspiration. Try to be 10% better than you were last week. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. If you're swimming 500 meters, swim 550. If some of you aren't doing shit, your 10% is just getting off the fucking couch. The more you walk away from accountability, the weaker you become. Find yourself in the grip of life. You can't find yourself by doing nothing.